Hello, I'm Donna Cato, a founder of CraftArtEDU. In this free tutorial, I'll teach you how to use these large grommets to make big hold beads. This type of bead was pioneered by a Danish company called Troll Beads. The company Pandora came later. They both market silver and lamp worked beads characterized by these large holes. The beads are strung on thick chain, creating a look that's really popular today. These large grommets make it possible for us to make our own versions of these beads in polymer clay. If you've not watched Making the Most of Your Craft Art EDU class, I'd recommend you watch it now. Here you see two bracelets made of polymer clay large hold beads. On the left are glitter beads with embedded rhinestones. For this particular piece, I placed a 6 mm bead between each polymer bead. The 6 mm beads fill the large holes, and the beads don't twist or fall, but maintain their proper alignment. On the right, you can see a bracelet composed of different elements. The beads adjacent to the large hold beads are mostly the 6 mm spacers used in the first bracelet but here you can see that I've placed another spacer instead. The large bead to its left sits well enough, but may not at times maintain its proper alignment. Now in this case, for this stretchy bracelet, I don't feel it's a problem or a deficiency in the design. The beads sit nicely on the wrist when the bracelet is worn. The grommets I've used measure approximately 9 mm across from edge to edge, and the hole measures approximately 5 mm. If you'd like to purchase some grommets, just click on the I Want Some Grommets link. Let's use a smooth caned bead. This bead is pearl clay with thin slices cut from my daisy cane and leaves placed at strategic places between them. Roll the bead until the surface is smooth and the cane slices are integrated into the clay. Now pierce the center with a needle tool. I'd like you to note that my bead is about 12 millimeters in diameter. The grommets are large, so your bead should not be smaller than 10 millimeters in diameter. You've got to enlarge the hole to accommodate the grommet for the best fit. I've found that the handle of a paintbrush works just fine. Slide the grommet onto the handle until it's snug. Now if it slides off, you've got to find a thicker handle. Now back that grommet off and mark the place where it was snug with a permanent marker. This is where you'll stop drilling the hole in the bead. Next, drill through with a bamboo skewer. You get a better result if you do an intermediate drill with an intermediate tool. Drill from both sides to make a neat hole. Now we'll move on to the marked handle. Drill halfway through the bead. If we drill all the way through, the clay at the other side of the bead may blow out, making a sloppy hole. Flip the bead over and drill through to the mark. Hold the bead gently and move your fingers on the bead so you don't make indents in the bead itself. Withdraw the handle from the bead and flip the bead over. Now drill all the way through from the other side. The video that follows shows the process on a glitter bead. Insert the grommet in the hole. If there's excess clay in the hole, remove it with the needle tool. Now don't push the grommet into the clay too deeply. 
It should sit on the clay, not in it. Nest the bead in a bed of baking soda and cure it following manufacturer's recommendations. After curing, we have one remaining task. Metal doesn't stick permanently to clay, so we've got to glue the grommets to the clay. Carefully work the corner of your blade under a grommet. Now lift the grommet out of the hole. The grommet will leave a mark. Now this is handy. You know what area the grommet itself will cover. With a toothpick, apply CA, that cyanoacrylate or super glue type glue, to the lip of the hole. Here is mine. It looks like too much glue, but when the grommet is inserted, the glue is covered. Now lastly, place the bead grommet down on your work surface and push to ensure that the grommet is snug against your clay. Here are more examples of large hold beads made with grommets and a simple three bead necklace and a bracelet in the background. And again, those two original bracelets. I hope you've enjoyed this free tutorial on using large grommets with polymer clay. Check out our classes. We've got wonderful classes from the best teaching artists in the world. I think so anyway. For Craft Art EDU, I'm Donna Cato.